Welcome back. Welcome back. Nikki Cross just screamed. I, I, I knew, like, really? That's, that's, that's all we got out of her? Like, how, how they put on performance? Eric Warren had people crying. This bitch screamed. Seriously? Listen, bro, listen, 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 listen. I feel like every, I, I feel like I'm, I'm the holiday, you know, I'm the holiday advocate of the show. That's that effect on God on the women, bro. Oh, okay. It, it, it didn't show how they so they, it, it, he he was doing something that had to keep him off camera, huh? What his, his hands was doing that segment. That's all I that's all I want to know. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. Oh, he a real therapist, huh? Hey man, listen. What, what what's this classic line? There you are. <laughs> I I'm peeping it out. I'm like, man, she ain't doing nothing. She next thing you know, she's just screaming. That's it. Like, oh. It's real VHS shapes. This is VHS shit for real, for real. Huh? Like, why they couldn't show both of them, you know? I I noticed. I noticed. But uh, yeah. check your ringside is back. Shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to Bob Sean Love. Shout out to shouting out. Blizzy Blaze here. Uh, you know, waiting for SummerSlam. If I'm being real with y'all. Waiting for SummerSlam. Ready, ready to get this up, you know. Long side. How the enthusiast king. All right, all right, all right. So uh tell you what, I'm I'm excited about SummerSlam. So let's start with a SummerSlam topic. How you feel about that? Oh yeah, what you got? All right, so I wanna make this clear. This is not predictions. Not predictions at all. This is this is us just talking about the scenario, the situation. All right. So I think the champions we had been around for some some little, little minute. <clears throat> so I oh I'm tripping. This joke playing in the background. I hope I hope it ain't that bad. <laughs> I couldn't even hear it. Yeah, ho- ho- ain't horrible, but you know, it is what it is. Sorry, you know, still new to this shit. I'm the editor, producer, uh, executive producer, um, you know, all the other shit too. About, it's, it's, about to say, ain't no, look. can't run it back. We're live, pal. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. All right, so I'm gonna go through a summer slam card because there's six championships on the line. And I think I think we could go with the, uh probably put the women's tag online too, but six championships online for sure. And we're gonna just go with the champion and we're gonna pretty much decide is it time for that champion to switch at SummerSlam? Now there's not predictions. So whoever you feel like gonna win, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna we ain't talking about that. All right. Good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. <laughs> right, man, I, was, I, was, I thought you were, I was nodding my head. Yeah, my man. Shit, you shaking, it, but you shaking the phone, so it's probably negating it. Oh yeah, I am shaking the phone. Yeah, I'm about to say so. It follows like this. It looked like your head I, not moving at all. I didn't realize. This, I didn't realize the screen was shaking. Yeah. All right. Let's start off with Liv Morgan. Is it time for her to get that belt up at SummerSlam? No. Okay. Okay, I agree. I feel like you you give up. She give up that belt, which I don't know if she is or not. But she back to eating ass again, and I I feel like you know I like short short live. You know, you seen her in a short short skin. I, I I need a belt around that. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I love me some real, but yeah, you know yeah. what. I, I, you know both of them both of them just go out there wearing the same outfit you know you know real make sure you forget the straps that go under the cheek that i like i mean the fans like you know the fans like that not not just busy but you know and really i mean live you go wrestle in them jean shorts honestly i i ain't know i ain't know yeah. dime like girls who look like a uh, girl women who look like you like shit blizzy blaze too now don't get twisted man <laughs> Dime ain't going with a mustache. You know? that's, a hell of a, that's a hell of a choice he got. Lil Morgan, real Ripley. I feel like everybody in that situation real life married, though. 
Lil Boy is actually single. I about to say, maybe not Lil, but I think I'm sure Re and Don both married, ain't they? Yeah. Lil yeah, Morgan was actually dating Bo Dallas, but she was like, she, uh, when she said, uh, when she did uh, the radio interview, she was like, broke up with my last boyfriend. Uncle was too crazy. Just doing crazy shit all the time. Like, I don't know who that, I don't know who that was. She saw the nigga plans to kill Chad. Like, like she got the fuck out of there. Like, like she she probably told Bo, she like, hey, look, I think your uncle crazy. I think he about to kill Chad Gable. And Bo, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, he started acting stupid. You know how they do they defend a family. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's like, howdy, man. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's probably just drawing. And he ain't gonna actually do it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 he's not gonna actually kill him, you know. Lev said, well, either way, I'm getting the fuck up out of here, you know. Now, now actually, you know, attempted murder. We, we all saw it. We all saw it. How he stood that proud trying to own that shit. Like, he, he ain't give a fuck. Like, yeah, y'all see him? <laughs> like, whoa, that's Jordan Grace. Like, she got that. She, I ain't know she can. Look, women's wrestling has been stepping up, man. Uh... <laughs> Fuck, I was that okay? All right, let's keep it going. Bailey, is it time for Bailey to get that thing up? Yes, I'm um, uh, the belt, the belt, the belt. Oh, the belt. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's belt too. Whoo, that's close one right now. <laughs> BBL Bailey, uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, Bailey. I'm gonna keep it being with you. Ever since you won that belt, you've been on some, you've been dry spot. Like, what are we doing? Like, you know, like you get like you could be an arrogant champion, like be the role model. I'm the role model. People love me. I gotta do this. I gotta do it. I didn't want to do it. The, the kids got me beating your fuck out, y'all women in this bitch. I, I don't want to, but look at this little girl. She wants me to beat you. I mean, that seemed like some 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 face shit to me. Hey, at least get some TV time, but yeah, uh, I'm about over it. I'm, I'm I've been over it actually, and yeah, I think it's time for Bailey to give it up. The yeah, belt, the belt. I just hope Stratton don't cash in. Let Nye get him wrong with the belt first, then you know Stratton can do a thing. I agree. I agree. All right, uh, is it time for Logan Paul to get a belt up? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I think he ran this course with the belt. Like, I don't think he's gonna add nothing to it. it. But I'm just Uh, ready for LA Knight to get a championship. I don't think I I think he, he did as much as he could with the belt. Like he already he already walking around with it. He went to boxing events with it and everything. All right. Unless he's gonna get more high key matches, which I'm not sure how many he left out there for him. I think it's yeah. time to move on. Huh? I would say, yeah, you're right. All right. I I I'm not sure how many like <clears throat> US US championship matches he could have. Like without the belt, he can get into this ridiculous storyline. Like fuck, he can get involved with the bloodline storyline. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I interviewed Jacob when, when I was doing jailhouse interviews, you know. Like, so I'm pretty much blood. Jacob, like, fucking right, he blood, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm just throwing shit out there. I'm just saying, Logan Paul would be in anything without the belt, <laughs> you know. Nobody gonna question that. Uh, um, right there, Sammy Zane. Uh, that's an interesting for me too. It is. You think it is? It is. It is time. I actually think he can hold. I think he can hold on to it. He's he finally starting to get interesting. Once he got that Chad Gable storyline, once how how did how did they fix that? How did they fix that? I mean, once he got Chad Gable out that <laughs> out, out that in the kind of storyline, Sammy started being a little more interesting to me. But yeah, it um uh yeah, it's probably 
probably time for him to drop it. All right, we're going to disagree on that one then. Uh, Cody Rhodes. Is it time for Cody Rhodes to drop the belt? Not yet. You could disagree again then. Fucking right, it's time for him to drop the belt. Like, let Solo get a crack at it. You know what I'm saying? You know, he hold it, he hold it down for a little minute. And Cody Rhodes went it back. Like, it, it's okay. Like, uh-huh. He don't need to be this fucking this this star who holds it for a year until the rock comes back. I I think it's more detrimental. Like I think pe- more people won't gonna stop not people gonna always fuck with Cody Rhodes, but I'm, I guess I'm saying it's it's lamer to me that he held the belt all the way to the rock, like and then he might lose against the rock. It's like uh-huh. like now nah, he win it, like him losing the belt and gaining it back, that's that add add diversity or what it's called adversity. Yeah. Him losing that SummerSlam to Solo and then winning it back at like Royal Rumble or even Bad Blood, I guess, you know. Uh-huh. Hell in a Cell, you know. Like, I don't know. I feel like you could you could you could do more with that. I, I think it's definitely time for Cody to lose the belt. Like <coughs> I'm actually good on him, him uh keeping the belt too long. Like we ain't doing the Randy betrayal, then let Solo get a quick run. You know, a little month run, two month run, and Cody went in the back. Hell in a cell, bad blood, or something like that. Yep. Damien Priest. <clears throat> um, not yet. I feel the same way. I feel like if Gunda going to win, it got to be at Bash of Berlin. I got to say, I just. Hope they stop giving him these inspector uh, gadget spots and just backing himself into a wing. But yeah, you could do much. You could do more with him, <clears throat> especially if they're actually trying to turn him heel. I'm just turn him baby face. So, yeah, I see that. Yeah. No, nah, no, I, I, I don't have him drop it just yet. No, nah, I agree. I, I uh. I definitely think uh, I, I'm starting to, starting to get used to his title run. So, you know, I don't think it went stale yet. So, yeah, I, I can fuck with that. Oh. All right. And I think the last one is Fire and Dawn, an unholy reunion. Yeah, give it belts. <clears throat> get the belts back to G. And, yeah, uh, it Black Girl Magic. It was more yeah. entertaining. You know, they they was more believable. It was it, it was just it was just all around better. All around better. Yeah. I mean, watching them come out in the outfits, bouncing, you know, oiled up and shit. Fire and Dawn don't do that. No. Yeah. Feel, like feel like they damn near dressed up. I'm not even I, sure. I feel like they should get Naomi and they should just all come out together on some free bird shit. Hey, you saw me, you saw Naomi for, for WrestleMania dropping it. Like, wow. Like, we, like, well, we ain't see shit like this. This is this, this is record breaking here. <laughs> like, I feel like nobody was talking about that slept on moment in WrestleMania 40, but it's all good. Blizzy Blaze saw Naomi. Blizzy Blaze saw. But uh, that's all of them. That's all. That's all the champions. The other, the only other match that's on there is Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. Uh, tell you what, how about this? <clears throat> Should this been a triple threat, or you like Seth Rollins as the uh, as this referee? I like Seth Rollins as a referee, just cause he could be an asshole and be like, I ain't calling for none of y'all, then you know, doing all that dumb shit. Yeah, uh, I feel like he gonna do some. I think I feel like this match not gonna get resolved now. Nah. Like I said, Riles gonna say fuck both y'all. Hit CM Punk with the one two, and on count hit hit Drew McIntyre like, oh I'm on the phone, I got you later. You know, feel like you know, we're gonna pull out a mirror. You like? Do you like this pit? This you like this piggy hat with the <laughs> with, with the with the cow vest, or you like? The peacock shades with 
the ostrich, the ostrich shirt. Hmm. Mm. Oh, Drew, you got, oh, you got him, Drew. One, damn, only one. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I guess it makes sense. Clearly, it's gonna be some fuckery, and then we're gonna get the triple threat oh, match. Yeah. Fuckery. yeah, and then we're gonna get the triple threat match. So I'm down. I'm cool with it. <clears throat> oh well, fuck it. All right, so I got on that one. We can move to the next one. Let's. What's the next one? What's the next one? Bobby Lashley. Man, Bobby bitch. Bobby, bitch. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Uh, so Bobby Lashley gone. Did me? You ever looked up the details of it? I guess not. <laughs> Wait, my bad. I. God damn you! I, I was listening to that something outside. My bad. What's that? I say, did you look up the details of Bobby Lashley? Oh no no no! Um, his they, they, his contract ran out. They not renew. They not renew. I think they, they. I think they offered him like a low offer or some shit. So he, him, and MVP, they contract expire around like the same time. So their plans is to go to AEW and reintroduce the hurt business with who? Sheldon. And uh, just grab another black guy. Maybe get back cat. Remember, remember when that dude? The but shit. then again, no, his contract about to run out. They talking about maybe he coming back to WWE. Uh, honestly, if he ain't, if he ain't, if he ain't, I can't look at Keely the same if he ain't doing the back cat gimmick. Me and you, me and you invented. I can't look at him the same. Like you know, just jacking me out of. As much as I like the bask in his glory, limitless, I feel like we came up with one of the greatest characters of all time. All right. The black cat jacket with the, with, the, with, the, with the buttons. I'm I'm gonna look that up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he come back to WWE. I'm like he gotta come back with the black cat gimmick. There's no other explanation. Just not a real black cat, cause God, just use AI cutting promos, just petting the black cat. They could be the, the, the big AI thing they do on the screen, like Rom Rain come out and they show him doing that shit. The the animated thing, it could be a bell cat. Exactly. Bell cat with a jacket on. All right. Bobby Lashley gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. This ain't really news to me because you know this wrestling niggas get fired all the time. So man, I didn't even realize like he had a group in 10 days. It was basically the hurt business, but it was like beat 'em up gang or some shit. Who was it? I think uh I don't know, but he had that and he done the hurt business. He did the hurt business in WWE. And now he, I guess he gonna go to TNA and be the hit squad or some shit. I don't know. But MVP. But fuck it. I'm I'm just happy he got. He got to win a couple of world titles. That's true. That's true. I mean, look, <clears throat> he definitely moved up to a top five, top five black superstar all the time. Mm-hmm. Like what? I mean, what? Mark Henry, Booker T, The Rock. I'm not even sure. Like he probably in that area after that. Yeah. Kofi maybe. Yeah. And then, then probably, then probably, then probably. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Yeah. All right, what are we doing with Pride? Um, I thought about saying let Carmelo Hayes join, but it would have to be a trio instead of, you know, because it will look weird if he just lead them. Yeah. So it will be like, a, oh, Bobby Lashley gone, fellas. So uh, how about we link up and, you know, I don't know some 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 shit Carmelo Hayes would say, but you know, and they could turn it into something. Or you or you, or or should they just let Street Profits be and call it a rap? Well, 
Call it a rap. Damn. Call it a rap. Fucking like thought of that. I can't remember the last time. I think WrestleMania was like the last time I saw Bobby Lashley. They haven't been using them, so it's like, fuck it. Let them dip, cause the cost. So what street 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 profits just uh just back to street profits? Yeah. Damn. I actually liked what they was doing. I think they do need like a somebody who can help them out. Like only problem is it'll feel new dish. Yeah. They um shit, yeah. Like it, it just feel like a more serious new day, like a like you know, because they all it, it was different with Bobby Lash because he he was a big star, he a legend, helping out a tag team. Mm-hmm. Carmelo Hayes less accomplished than the Street Profits, and the Street Profits struggling to get the fucking titles. They got DIY, do it yourself with the fucking tag titles. <laughs> then they got a whole bunch of teams lining up. Fuck, they got they got. Time of Tonga and Tua Tonga with Law. Yep. The season, the season starting like two weeks. This dude's still wrestling. Like, come on, bro. What hey, you doing? He on the hold out for a new contract. Oh, okay. That's he getting so he, he getting the matches in now, huh? Yeah, it's kind of like how when Cena showed up during the uh rider strike. Mm-hmm. I I well they ain't getting they ain't paying right now, so she mm-hmm. I got a little Samoan in me. I, I heard I heard I heard they letting everybody if they let Jacob in, I know I can get in. My black I, hoodie in the cup. But I see my record clean. You know? <laughs> I got I gotta get in. Um yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Um Yeah, man. I guess. I guess we. I guess we could roll with just saying, you know, let the street profits be. But <clears throat> I, I think that's a bigger loss for them than anything. Mm-hmm. Like that, they was getting some attention with Bobby Lash. Bobby Lash being all disappointed in them. Like y'all, y'all, y'all niggas sipping out that cup and not in the gym. <laughs> Disappointing. Like, you know. But hey, if you go to AEW, I ain't gonna be watching. So fuck it. All right. I, I, man, I'm yeah, going to keep it out. Because you know you're going to have that, 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 that hot. He going to be hot for about a couple weeks. And then once that third week come around, then we'll see where he at. Can you keep me posted? Of course. That, that's, 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 oh, that's what... he might have a sting mask on. <sighs> We we'll know that's Bobby Lashley. Like, <laughs> you know, I I'm, I'm just looking like ah uh, some something about that muscle tone, you know. <laughs> something about that muscle tone says Lashley. Nice. You've been in the gym, huh, Sting? <laughs> Tanny boo too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You see you shaved your head off and shit, huh? All right. I, I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. All right, we off that. We off that. You got anything else to say about Bobby? Nah, just fuck it. Do you think? All right, so now we on. Well, you got anything before we get to the main topic? Uh, nah, nah. All right, so went from Bobby Lash being the big brother to Bo Dallas being the little brother. And what I mean by that is today's episode, we're going to celebrate Lil Brothers. <laughs> I, at first, I, I know I told you brothers, but we're just going to go with Lil Brothers. Like, you know, I would have ranked them, but I'm not sure how the fuck we're supposed to rank these people. So, this is not even the top 10. It's pretty much just top Lil Brothers. Uh-huh. So, let's uh. Roll. Let me see. Let's roll with it. Go right. Dallas. Man, I'm still trying to figure out um who how to fuck with more him or Bree. He gotta fuck with Howdy more. 
I mean, who I'm trying to see who uh was one of the brothers. How the fuck with Bo? Bo, oh, Bo, 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 he fucks with Bo more. Yeah. Hey, Bray, Bray, Bray started acting all funny and shit and all that. He like, went hard what? behind Bray, though. Bray started acting all spooky, like, like damn, dog, it's fair enough. What, what you doing? Why are you acting like that? Like, <laughs> are you acting funny, huh? Like, oh, okay. Like, I just want my money back. You know what I'm saying? All right. Bo oh, Dallas man. looking like he, Bo Dallas was like, man, y'all got on twisted, man. Let me let me go to let me go to the general manager and get this straightened out. Cause he, he <laughs> like like that whole that whole headshot thing was a mistake. You know, if I wanted to do it, he could have done it. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen him do it before. So it nah. just sit right with me, you know. He was just he was just trying to show things right. And you know what? This is why he the first dude on this list, dog. That's a top little brother for you. He's such a good little brother, he's starting to look like the skinny version of his big brother. Yeah. Sounded like him too. Yeah. Like he he pretty much embraced Bray Wyatt. Uh yeah. Um uh, I hate this. I hate to see that how they how how they and Bray couldn't get a, get along like we like would what well, they did towards the end. They did towards the end. You know, how they did jump in for book for uh against Bobby, you know. Yeah, it, it didn't go too well. But you know how how they had his issues in his first run. Couldn't stay off that yak. Speaking of staying off that yak, Jeff Hardy, get your ass up here, boy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Keen Keen knew how to do it, boy. Transition, transition. Jeff Hardy. You got that great little brother if you think about it. Brother Nero. Like, yeah, you had your moments, but you know. You kind of selfish on some shit. Like you put Matt in a bad position. Everybody gotta keep asking Matt qu- questions about your lifestyle. You know, Matt probably just trying to ball and chill. Don't don't do his hell. You know, play with his wife. You know, like you know, like we all trying to do. Eight kids he got. Like, come on, man. Like, but every time you see Matt, you're like, hey, what's up with Jeff? He, you know, then he puts it aside. He doing all right, huh? Then you like, he like, yeah. You sure? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been there. Uh, like, you've been out, huh? he been good. He staying clean, getting his life together. She. You sure, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Sure about that? You sure about that? But outside of that, dude. Uh, He's probably one of the few people on this list that's arguably more accomplished than a big brother. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Not, I mean, not by that much, though. But so we'll just edge Jeff Hardy in this one. Jeff is like a three time world champion. That's it, true. People always more gravitated more to Jeff, man. And not the like, with the Allen TNA. Another that's another situation they, they were just going crazy over, over Jeff Hardy and it's like oh, this dude this dude rolling right now y'all y'all can't keep supporting that <laughs> you know, I guess Dixie Carter like look look I had you seen how I had Kurt huh I don't give a fuck yeah <laughs> trying to get these ratings up <laughs> pass him another one yeah <laughs> but all right my bad Jeff we we off that now we good we good so my next one was Jay. But then I say, you know what? I'm going to let them not. I ain't going to worry about them nine minutes. Solo the little brother. Yeah. Like, like I, Jimmy and Jay, y'all, y'all both could be big better on this one. Solo. Solo and stepped up, became the tribal chief. He... And I- and I feel like people not respecting that that he went he went from the enforcer to what he leading the group. Like y'all act like y'all act like he not gonna be in the main event at War Games going against tri- the other tribal chief in Roman Reigns. And not to mention he the only one that got Jacob Fatu uh kind of controlled. I'm about to say that's vital for when the Rock come back because apparently Jacob looking for what, what the Rock gave Cody. Mm-hmm. Me and Keem is we watching the details of this shit. We, we this 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 for y'all, like y'all, when Jacob won't come out there, 
don't disrespect my tribal chief, you know. And then you go look at the rock, like, and the rock probably peace out, like, you already know, he find, you know, he'll find a boss. He's like, look, look, shit, look, I got, I got, I'm about, I'm looking for Cody Rhodes. I got the new belt, you know, I, that's all I was doing. I, we, we, we could talk off camera, Jake, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, solo. Solo, uh, I, you got you got to give Solo his props for what he became because what people expected. And when you sit there, when you take a step back and see what he was doing with the quiet, no talking thing, like he couldn't turn it to the white meat baby face, you know. Uh, I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I couldn't see it. I could see him betraying Roman Reigns, but the fans gonna give up on him quick anyway. You yeah. know. So I, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad at him, man. And them chains, dope. Y'all stop acting like y'all got those type of chains, man. <laughs> type of cheap shit. Like I don't think Roman had that type of ice. <laughs> you know. And look, I, I, the, you know what? That must be a Uso thing because the Usos used to have those chains, and Solo and Solo got them now. I must be for Rikishi people. You know, Rikishi be like, hey, look, look, you know what? Look, that that's 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 no that's no, you know what I'm saying? This this that, you know, my brother, that's my brother kids, you know what I'm saying? My kids gonna go iced out to the ring. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, I don't know who's the little brother, him him or Umaga. Uh I I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna just say Umaga, yeah, because because Rikishi was the big homie who was in them streets talking, and I felt like that's the mature thing to do. So <laughs> U- Umaga was the little brother, and you know he act like a little brother, crazy, <clears throat> rah rah rah, fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like beating up old people and all that. You know, beating up movie stars because they're not selling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I do Umaga. I do the fucking legend, man. <laughs> And his um his manager, Armando Alejandro Estrada. Oh, I was about to say Enrique Iglesias. Man, this dude. St- I thought that was his name. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like, <laughs> it, clearly, I wasn't gonna take a picture with him. I seen him, so. You know. <laughs> um, yeah, and it, I'd be shocked if Keith's a little brother, but hey, if he a little brother, then damn. It's ready to see the little brother mature that early in life, you know. You must see make a difference. Cody Rhodes. Adrenaline in my nose. Oh, how damn it's Cody Rhodes. Taking a bump. <laughs> you know, you know how his daddy used to get down. Come on, baby. Baby. Yeah, for that, I know you. I, I I know you took more than you was supposed to. You're trying to help us hide all the good shit. This summer, this summer, Greensboro finest. <laughs> they funky like a monkey, baby. <laughs> but uh, of course, gotta put Cody Raheem Rules on the list. Yeah, like uh, brother shit. Job, still employed there. You know. Cody Rhodes, another definition of little brother. Boy, did the gold, did the Stardust gimmick. You yeah. Know? And plus, they, they hold each other down like a motherfucker. Like, I don't think they even had a rivalry. Like, they went, they, didn't they go against each other, but they didn't have a rivalry, did they? Uh, no, yeah. I don't even think they. Nah. Because they tagged, they teamed up in WWE, and then, like, one of the first pay per views, him and Dustin uh, had a match, but it wasn't like no beef or no shit. It was just like, right. hey, let's wrestle, bitch. Okay. All right. I thought so. I thought so. All right. The other side of my list. I feel like we, we went through this before and I still get it wrong. Was Booker T and Stevie Ray brothers or not? They were, they were real brothers. Okay, Booker T's the little brother, clearly. Yeah, all right. 
Shit, Booker T probably the best best little brother on here. Then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. I just I, here's a real conversation here. There's a conversation here. Hear me out. Booker T or Jeff Hardy? Yeah. Real conversation, huh? Booker T. People gonna look at you crazy for that. And I agree with you, nigga. Yeah, Booker T, man. Like, you know, the dude went from calling Hulk Hogan a nigga to king of wrestling. I've how many of y'all wish y'all could do that? I, they got wrestlers writing. I bet if Carmelo Hayes wish he, I bet he would call Hulk Hogan a nigga if he could be the, the, the king of wrestling a few months after or a few years later. Like Booker T is a legend. Legend. <laughs> and yeah, one of the best little brothers on here, you know. Yeah. Stevie, Stevie, Stevie Ray was cold chilling, you know what I mean? Wasn't tripping on nothing. And boys talking that shit to the ring. <laughs> Oh gee, better hurt somebody. Fuck yeah. Out. yeah. Hey, you know what? That's probably where the Usos get that shit from. Yeah. Man, just, talk, just talking straight shit to the ring. Like, yeah, you, you got like these dudes, man. Speaking of they oh, you, what you got to say? Oh, uh -huh. they were supposed to be like some slaves. Who that? All them heat. Oh, that was the original gimmick? Yeah, it was supposed to be like some slaves, like fucking slave on the come well the dude Colonel Robert Parker come out there and let him off the chain or whatever, and they just run right off rough shots. Woo! Put them in a little racist. Yeah, thank goodness for Harlem Heat, huh? That, that's way more gangster. And that fucking music was gangster, man. Shout out to Harlem Heat. Uh, <clears throat> Rick was the younger brother of the Steiners, right? Don't tell me Big Papa Pump was with the, with the younger brother. Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Scott Steiner was the younger brother? Scott Steiner was the younger brother. You know what? <clears throat> that makes sense. That it's, always a little, it's always a little brother get out of hand. Size. Huh? I said, why are you so fixated on size? <laughs> it's always the little brother get out of hand. Instead of trying to prove that point. Little brother who get extra swole, die, die as hell, you know. I'm better, you know, like, you don't got to do all that. You, like, we know who you are. You good? Nah, I got to do more. <laughs> muscle on top of muscle looking like fucking cartoons and shit. Like, God damn. <laughs> you know. But you know what? This this is another one. Hey, there's a trend going on here. The little brothers are actually being more accomplished than the big brothers in this. In, in this, I never even paid attention to that. But yeah, Scott Steiner with Rick Steiner. Yeah. All right. This one's not a debate at all. The big brothers clearly more accomplished in this Bret Hart. Yeah. Now the on, you know, you are the little brother in this one. But you are part of the definition of little brother because, you know, as good as you was, motherfucker, brother legend. Yeah. Like, break and run for fucking president of Canada. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, you know. Owen, no disrespect. I, I mean this with all due respect. It's like the Tupac thing, you know. Tupac stopped rapping, you know. You stopped wrestling. You know, not yeah. your fault, but I can't keep saying I can't keep holding you at this highest thing when other people eventually pass you up. So, you know, all right, Peter, I like you better. Than, I like Owen better than Brett. But as far as resumes, I know what it triple. is. Triple, huh? That's it, triple. Who me? Hey, what happened? Owen, Owen better than Brett. I said I liked him better than Brett. Oh, you say you, oh, all right. I like, his, I like his style. He wasn't no hell no. He wasn't better than Brett. Unfortunately, like I ain't gonna say unfortunate, but Brett, Brett, a top ten wrestler of all time. I can't, I can't deny that. He, he was the face of the, he was the face that run the place between Hogan and HBK. 
Shout out to Brett, you know. I these last three is just three I wrote down just for the fuck of it. Cause I don't know who was younger out of offense seeker. You so fuck no. You know what? It don't even matter. Both of them look crazy, and both of them we wouldn't fuck with. That's 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 a, that's a fact. It, 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 it's a, a little too aggressive with y'all. You know, a little too much going on. Like you know? those dogs and shit. Don't don't even call neither one of y'all, little brother, sir. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all ain't gonna know what the hell. I ain't gonna braid it up or nothing. I just 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 okay. All right. no 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 heat over here. Yeah. No heat. Uh, Shane is the little brother of Stephanie, right? Yeah. No. Uh, it's vice versa? Uh, yeah. Well, he ain't made the list then. Sorry. I, 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 you know what? Shout out to Stephanie. I guess you could be a little brother for this episode. I like you better than Shane. So, you know. Man. Yeah. You like Shane better than Stephanie? Fuck no. Oh, okay. I'm like, I can't think of nothing Shane Fuck did. No. I'm like, he the man. Other than it's Stephanie, nice. Stephanie stood in the ring against some fucking giants, my G. Like, she took some abuse in the 90s and the 2000s. She was in the I Quit Man versus Vince. Lame. <laughs> but. Yeah, I can't think of nothing Shane do that. I'm like, fucking right. Here comes Shane. Here comes the money. Like, facts. Like, the one thing I can say about Stephanie, she had to stand across from The Rock, Triple H, Chris Jericho, Stone Cold. She had to hold her on against them. Like, at least stand on, stand, stand on her own two feet. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't know. She had a decent match with Ronda Rousey. That's more memorable than any match I've seen with Shane. Yeah. I think Stephanie had a, a decent match with Nikki Bella. Am I wrong? Uh, It was Brie Bella. It was Brie? I think when the, she was actually doing, like, decent. It was all right. Better than Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Shane. <laughs> all right. Speaking of Nikki and Bree, I, I clearly I ran out of brothers. You know, I ain't gonna put Terry Funk and Dory Funk. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I know Terry Funk. I don't know Dory Funk like that or whatever the other dude name is. So, you know, don't shoot me for that. Bree, who's this, who's the young one? I Bree and Nikki. I think Bree might be the oldest. She seemed like it, huh? She definitely. You know, like, all safe and shit, you know. Nikki out here wearing the high shorts with the baseball cap. Wow. Like, oh, okay, you trying to have fun? You wow. Know? Yeah, Bree look like the one that's be, be careful here. You know, she, yeah, she's more conservative. Yeah, you know, the group, the group, the group, the group texting Nikki phone, and Nikki say you could bring your sister if you want. <laughs> she don't want to break her, but you know. Oh man. But that's all the people cap off my little brother list. Uh, shout out to shout out to the little brothers. If you think about it, look, Jeff Hardy. If you want to go with Jay Uso over Jimmy, uh, Cody Rhodes, Umaga is probably more accomplished than Rikishi. Just saying. Uh, Rikishi brothers. They not. You sure they not? Oh, they might. Uh, I'll look it up. Booker T more confident than Stevie. Scott Stein more confident than Rick. And uh, what the rest of them is probably don't matter. Let me look up this. Uh, what I'm looking up again? Over oh, Kishi and uh, Umaga. Let's see. Umaga. Personal life. Mm. 
I don't know. I thought it was. Yeah, I yeah, but I said it says his cousin is uh Rosie. Fuck. Uh, let's see. God damn. He has two other brothers who are also professional wrestlers, Sam and Salofa, which is Rikishi. Yeah, okay. That's his brother. Oh, yeah. All right. Huh? That's the old shit. Yeah, yeah. These motherfuckers deep. Stop talking. People crazy when they got that tattoo, King. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for the brothers. As a little brother myself, fuck the older brother. I'm a little brother, but I got sister, so I ain't tripping. All right. <clears throat> That's it, man. That's all I got. Get, I gave us gave us some content before the SummerSlam predictions. Yeah. You got anything else? Uh, nah. All right, well, look. If y'all feel like you know, they got some other little brothers I should have named. Y'all feel like I should have gave the big brother some more love. Fuck, I guess just hit us up. You know, let us know. Facebook championship ringside. Instagram championship underscore ringside. Twitter at champ ringside. Email championship ringside gmail.com. Of course, we got the YouTube channel, TikTok, CR Wrestling, Championship Ringside Wrestling. Like, share, subscribe. We're clipping up all the all the good shit. I clip it as much as I can. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, you know, I'm, I'm I'll be all over the place, but you know, executive producer, you know, all that other shit. Anyway, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share. You know, all the good stuff. Let the channel grow. If y'all fucking with the content, the only way the content going to go if y'all share it with somebody. I, If I was y'all, I'd share this with people who ain't fucking wrestling. Just, you know, on some funny shit. You know? Just Test, out it. The time. Test out the water. Test it out. Share, hit the button right now. Share it to somebody. See what happens. And uh, the content keep growing because we got the youth, we got the video gaming channel. Championship Ringside on Twitch, Championship Ringside Air Station on YouTube, um, yeah, on the WWE, uh, set up the universe, got that popping, um, shit, that's about it. Eventually, I'm gonna get that college football, but other than that, yeah, I'm on the WWE, um, might as well get that my ride started, get that out the way. And um, yeah, team at eighty six to my eleven. Uh, SummerSlam predictions next week. So you know, make sure y'all look out for that. For the people who are watching and paying attention, made it to the end of this episode. We love y'all for that because we got to give y'all that shout out. To y'all who showing this love, shout out to y'all who made it to the end of this episode. Shout out to all of the butters around the world. We talking to two little brothers. We the shit. Shout out to big brothers without y'all ain't us. You know, big siblings and without without y'all ain't us. Anyway, be smart. Stop hating. Stop bitching. God bless. Be smart. King, you can send them home. Hug your wife and kids and shit. Uh, I don't know. Just live, love, laugh, or whatever art you said. Before we leave, I'm watching TNA, and I'm the segment literally have Top Dollar, whoever the other dude in Hit Row was, Rhino, and Santino Morella just came out as the director of authority. Yeah, he's the, uh, he got the little badge. I guess he's the <laughs> sheriff. Well, all that being said, wrestling is wrestling. <laughs>